welcome back to the Bibs Booktube channel. My name is Kaylin, and today I'm going to be talking about the books and the makeup with the makeup book tag, which I don't know who this is originally created by because every time I went and searched for the creator of this tag, I couldn't find them. So, with that being said, today we are going to get started with the makeup. This is my entire makeup collection. I am one to not know what makeup looks like or how to use it or really anything with makeup because I hardly ever wear makeup. This is my face without makeup. Right now it's currently a little bit redder than it normally is because normally it's not red but I am hot. I am sweating because the heat kicks on only at night and it makes my little apartment 10 million thousand degrees. I just feel like I'm gonna have a heat stroke and then I'm in an oven. But besides that fact, today we're gonna get started. So question number one, primer. Pick a book with a lasting impression and um, yo girl don't have primer so here it is me inserting it on my face. A book that has last made a lasting impression is definitely Divergent because the only thing I ever remember about Divergent is how I loved it so dearly and it became one of my favorites. It's like Harry Potter, Twilight, and Divergent. I remember so vividly the crow scene and how it terrified me and petrified me forever and so it has still have a lasting impression on me and has made me hate crows. Question number two, foundation. Pick your favorite book that is a first in the series and I'm gonna have to go with like the first book that I just said. I didn't realize this question was coming up next but um, definitely Divergent. That's like one of my favorite first books in a series. Also I kind of really liked Clockwork Angel because that was that was really good and really gripping. Clockwork Prince was another story for me but those two books kind of just like sucked me in. Question number three is concealer. Picked a character that I wish I could get rid of. I don't know if this is concealer or foundation or primer, but all I know is, is that it is BB cream, blah, blah, blah. Beauty balm, skin protector, woohoo. I just use this to cover my zits. So this is like from the first and second questions because I do have a couple there, so we're just gonna rub it in and have it look better. Now my chin looks like it's legitimately on fire from touching it now, so that, that's hot. But concealer, pick a book, a book character that I wish I could get rid of. The character that I wish I could get rid of was Allie from the Pretty Little Liars series because at the very end of the series, in book 16, that was literally the most stupidest ending to a series ever and I remember just being so salty when I read that book and I was like, this is the ending, like this is how everything had to happen, like are you kidding me? Like I just read this many books and this is the ending and that character just made me mad for all of eternity. Question number four, powder. Pick your favorite last book in a series and I don't have powder either so ha ha ha. My favorite last book in a series has to be Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. I remember really loving I guess the demon inside the bathroom wanted to be heard or on film. Strange noises coming from my bathroom. That's great. Anywho, that book definitely held like a piece of my heart. When I was reading it and just the things that were going on in the book, I just really could relate with and it just had like this nice conclusion because even though I did not like what's her nuts in cricket, I was super glad that I got to see Anna again and her man and it just it came all full circle and even though the books aren't like a series, they're more of like companion, companion, companion series. It was a very nice kind of wrap up to that. Question number five, eyebrows. A book that you think everyone should read. So since I have some nice thick dark eyebrows, I don't do eyebrows so I am literally the worst girl ever. I don't do the makeup but I do read the books. The Darkest Minds or The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding. Those are like my two like those are like my two favorite favorite books within these past couple of years that I read or The Merciless. I think The Merciless is absolutely horrifying and terrifying but I know a lot of people don't like horror but I know The Darkest Minds is creepy and like gruesome too and I really really like that but also The Tale of Prosper Redding is this cute little fun loving tale and I just I really like those books. Those are like my top three books that I think everyone should read if they haven't read them recently. Okay question number six, something that I can do and apply. <laughs> it is eyeshadow. Pick a book that has your favorite colors on it. For this book I'm gonna have to go with any of the okay this is gonna be really bad because I'm looking in the um, viewfinder. So I think some of my favorite book covers have to be the Ignite Me um, 
not the Ignite Me, duh, the Shatter Me trilogy because I think those books just have the most beautiful covers. Even though they don't have to do with eyeshadow, they have to do with like eyelids and eyes and that sort of thing. So I think that answer is very fitting to this. Your question number seven is eyeliner. Pick a dark and mysterious book. I think a dark and mysterious book, a very dark book, is definitely Survive the Night by Daniel Vega. I'm kind of on the lines of like dark books, the merciless, and Survive the Night. Survive the Night is creepy and terrifying, and why would you want to get trapped in like a sewer? Why would you want to go to a rave in a sewer? Like these kids are definitely not thinking things straight. Next up is question number seven, mascara, which I can apply and I don't, I won't look too stupid doing it without a mirror. Pick a long book, because you know, long lashes are, are, are in right now. I'm not. <laughs> Anything that's Stephen King is absolutely massive. We got a couple of Stephen King novels in the other day at this store that I work at, and they are massive. They are scary, and it's like at least a thousand pages. And I'm like, why? That's so long. Or like It by Stephen King. I was looking at that at Target the other day. My boyfriend Sam like pulled out. I was like, look how thick this book is. And I'm like, I know, she's so thick. And yeah, Stephen King novels are definitely thick, long books that you see. Question number nine is blush. Pick a book that has some cringe-worthy moments in it. And, okay, my face is already red, so why am I applying this? Um, definitely some cringeworthy moments would have to be the entire book series as well, and that is the selection series by Kira Cass, and this was just freaking awful. Like, it was just horribleness, and I will never understand why the girl, like, why, why girls want to be on The Bachelor or Bachelorette or whatever TV show to date some man who is dating all these other girls when they're like, well, I don't like that in real life, but then they, they get on the show and they're dating and they all get jealous, and I just, I, I, I don't get it, but that is encompassed in that book. Also, a lot of cringeworthy moments just because everything's just so stupid and it's, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Question number 10 is highlighter, and I do not have any highlighter. I don't even know how to apply highlighter, like half these things on this list. And that is, pick a book that has brightened your day, and a book that has definitely brightened my day is one of my more recent releases that I read is The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. I really like those two books of poetry. I I think they have some great and powerful poems in them. I definitely think you should pick those two books up. They definitely brighten my day and definitely make me feel more empowered. And last but not least, question number 11. And this is the only lipstick that I can find is this. What is your favorite book kiss? And I'm definitely gonna have to say, I'm gonna look like the Joker. This is gonna be bad. Um, my favorite book kiss. I think my favorite kiss is definitely going to have to be Bellamy and Clark from the 100 book series because we all wish this would happen in the real life in the real TV show. Like we just wish that they would just like super hook up already as Bell Clark fans are definitely still rooting for season, season five. Like there has to be a chance in season five. But I think that was like one of my favorite things about the entire series because even though it's just kind of, it's kind of like the selection series. Like it's so addicting but like I literally devoured the book in like a day because I cannot stop reading. I was also really happy because we get a Belle Clark marriage proposal in the 100 Rebellion book. So your girl was just definitely like, yes, 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 as my heart is beating out of my chest because oh, I just love Belle Clark so much. That is it for today's video. That is the books and makeup tag. If you have done this tag, have you completed all the steps or are you horrible at makeup like I am? Do you wear makeup? Do you not? Because I just, I don't know how to apply makeup, but I don't wear it. And I probably have, I probably have like lipstick everywhere where I look like the Joker and I'm just like mm. I definitely know my eyeliner is lopsided and everything else is probably lopsided so I'm gonna go wash this off before um the Gotham City Police Department tries to arrest me so anyhow that's gonna be it for today's bookish video and I'll see you guys next time